Welcome to the homework for lesson 23. It's module 7 of grade 3. And your name goes right here, please. Now, this there's some real puzzles here. And uh, I'm going to give some hints as I go. So at any time, you can just pause the video, try it from wherever you feel like you can go. Uh, if you see a quick way to do it or a strategy to use, and go ahead and then let it run and see see if it worked out see if you got what I got or you know, if you did a different way that's that's even better Rosie draws a square with a perimeter of 36 inches what are the side lengths of the square well the hint here is that there's four sides to a square and they're all the same that's a division problem with four sides Remember, we got to draw a picture. We got to RDW this. We need we call for side length. We'll call it S. All right. So that's thirty-six divided by four is going to equal S. And you could do this by guessing and checking. If you're not good at the division part of it, you could try guessing 5. Well, 4 5s would be 20. You try guessing 10. Uh, right, because 20 is not as big as 36. So try 10. Well, 4 10s is 40. So it's not 10, but it's in between 5 and 10. You can just keep guessing the numbers in between like that. Or you might just know that it's 9. So these are all... Uh, oh, I have to write a answer to the an answer statement. Judith uses craft sticks to make two 24 by 12 inch rectangles. What's the total perimeter of the two rectangles? All right, well, it's read it. We read it. Now we're going to draw it. They're 24 by 12. It's a really sloppy looking picture of a rectangle, but I'm going to go with it. I did rush it. That's why it came out so bad. Uh, okay, so they're, they're both, and they're both the same rectangle, so they should look like, they should look better. Uh, and these are inches, right? What's the total perimeter of the two rectangles? Well, I'm going to give you a hint here for multiplication. That might make this a lot easier. 24 is two twelves. Now, if that hint doesn't help, you could just add this stuff all up. You might see that these uh, these twelves make a 24. So you really have three 24s for each rectangle, and you could just add it up like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, and you could just add them all up like that. Um, or you could realize that this is really two, right? Two, three, four, five, six. Since there's two of them, it's 12 twelves. So you could think of 12 times 12, which would be 12 times. 10 plus 12 plus 2. So that's 120 plus 24. 144. And you'll find the same thing out. If you do all this addition, it's one, it's six fours, which is 24. And there's another two. And then it's just 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 tens. Either way, you're going to get the total perimeter is 144. <laughs> Ran out of room. 
inches. An architect with a square and a rectangle is shown below. Uh, draws a square and a rectangle to represent a house that has a, a garage. What's the total perimeter of the house with its attached garage? Well, the total perimeter is the out. Here's my big hint. The total perimeter is the outside of the shape. Only the outside of the shape. And there is a shortcut for not having to figure out what that is. But you could because you know that this is 30 and this side here is 40 so here's my uh, here's my hint so if that's 30 then this this part here this and this have to add up to that 40. So that means this little piece here is 10 and this is a 30. And this part here is a 55. So now we have all the sides in feet. And we can uh, start adding them together. Uh, 55 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 10 plus 55 plus 40 equals the perimeter. All right, so how can we consolidate some of these? I see three 30s for 90 and 10 more. That's 100 right there. And then these two 55s are 110. So 100 plus 110, that's 210. And we still have that 40. feet. It's really easy to think about this as like, because you just did a problem with two separate rectangles is to just figure out the perimeter of the square and figure out the perimeter of the rectangle and add them together. But what you, if you do that, you're, what you're doing is you're adding this edge here. You're adding that, and that's 30 feet. That's going to be counted twice because it's the side of the garage and it's the side of, and it's that part of the side of this house. So you're, if you did that, your answer is going to be 60 too large, probably 310 total perimeter or you might have done that and then subtracted that 60 to get the 250 Manny draws three regular pentagons to create the shape shown below the perimeter of one of the pentagons is 45 inches what's the perimeter of Manny's new shape so it's really important here to notice that these are regular pentagons, which means all the sides are the same. So if all the sides are the same, that means uh, this is for uh, the if the perimeter is 45 of one of the pentagons. So pentagons have five sides. So one side is going to be the whole perimeter divided by 5 and that's how we find out what one side is and that's 9 so each side is 9 well that means if this is 9 that's 9 that's 9 this in here is 9 so these are all 9's let me get rid of that one in the middle because I don't want to count it I just want to count the ones, the nines, I mean, they're on the outside. So how many parts are there that are, how many sides are there, how many nines are there? We need one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven nines. And 
and 11s are easy to work with. I know there are some third graders who are big fans of multiplying by 11. Um, And these are inches. Johnny uses two inch square tiles to make a square shown below. What's the perimeter of Johnny's square? Well, these are all squares and they're all the same squares. So you can see if that's two this is two, that's two, that's two, that's two, that's two, that's two, that's two, 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 two. So how many twos are there? Three, six, nine, twelve. There's twelve twos. Twelve times two, twenty-four. Or you could just count by two as going around. The perimeter of Johnny's square. That's not how you spell Johnny. It's 24, and these are inches. Lisa tapes three seven inch by nine inch pieces of construction paper together to make a happy birthday sign for her mom. She uses a piece of ribbon that is 144 inches long to make a border around the outside edges of the sign. How much ribbon is left over? Well, one of the things, when I see this number, 144, if you know some of your math facts. I think this came up earlier. 12 twelves is 144. So it's a, that's a good math fact to, I mean, it's a good math fact to remember. It's kind of at the end of the, of a 12 by 12 multiplication chart, but that's a really good one to remember is 12 times 12 because it comes up a lot more than you would think. So we have to figure out this and then subtract it from the 144. And it may turn out that there's a shortcut depending on how the numbers work out. So these are nines. And that's a seven. And that's a nine, a nine, and a nine. So how many nines do we have? We have one, two, three. We have six nines. So it's six times nine plus two times plus the two sevens. And that's the perimeter. So 6 times 9 is 54. And 2 times 7 is 14. And those are pretty friendly digits you could add mentally. 68. And I, it's not coming to me right now. So that's 68 inches. So that 144 minus the 68 and this is 14 minus 8 is 6 and oops that was 13 tens 
minus 6 is 7, so 76 left over.